Hey guys, good morning. Hey, I am coming to you today with a super quick update. Um, wanted to get you all caught up on everything that's been going on. Um, let me just check something really quick. I just need to make sure you guys are hearing me loud and clear. Um, yes, okay. Um, so guys, today is Wednesday. And last night, there was a lot going on, which I'm sure you all know. Um, first, um, you know, it's kind of almost like a battle of the moms right now. Maybe you guys aren't seeing it, but I'm seeing it and I'm kind of feeling it because I know a couple of the moms are have been a little tired and are wanting to take a break. But you know what? At the time that you are growing as a lot of these moms are, they're experiencing a lot of growth. Now's not the time to take a break, boo. It's just not. Um, you're seeing exponential growth and your new subscribers wanna know what the heck's going on. So when you dip in and dip out, that's not really the way to gain, you know, you'll gain the numbers. So you'll impress people by seeing, oh, so-and-so's channel is growing, but, that creator may look at their numbers and see, okay, my watch time is down. Cause that's really what pays you guys. Uh, contrary to popular belief. Yes. The numbers obviously increase your chances of getting great watch time. But if the people you have who are subscribed to you are not watching, that's the most important thing. So just to kind of answer that. So, um, you know, we see that some of the moms have been trying to take a break, but then when we see other moms kind of like, you know, something pops off as we did see this week with Sky, with Reese, with Olivia and Nisi yesterday. Um, I think it's only smart that all of the moms in this sector uh, get your weight up. And by weight, I mean, go ahead and start getting that content out because people are watching, people are interested, and they want to know what's going on. And just kind of on the side, if you don't really understand what's going on with Nisi and Olivia and what the history has been, I'm going to put a playlist together of videos that I've done over the last year that may help um, give you that background foundation of like what's going on so if you have some time today and you want to get yourself a little snack and some coffee you can go ahead and hit play on this playlist and it should give you a little bit of kind of like oh okay is that kind of what was going on um honestly it's one of these situations by the time you get caught up you'll be behind but if you really are lost and don't know what's going on I'm going to put a playlist together and I will post it to my community board or I will let you guys know at some point today, hey, it's up. Um, but as I was recording this, I just kind of thought about it. So, um, but yesterday we did see there was some back and forth with Nisi and Olivia. Basically, Nisi came out with a video to her brother, specifically talking to him about how she misses him how she is wishing him the best basically and congratulations on the things that he's done so far and the changes that he's making in his life so that he can be the man he wants to be and the husband that he thinks he needs to be so all very remarkable things you know we did see Gerard um on Saturday I think do a takeover on Olivia's channel and I mean honestly we don't know if it was a takeover or not. He said Olivia was gone. He said she didn't know. Um, I, you know, honestly, I don't know if I believe. Sorry, guys, for messing around with my hair. Um, I don't know if I believe that or not. But what I do know is that he did take do a takeover on her channel. And he was saying some really um, thoughtful things. And I think basically what Nisi wasn't super happy about was the fact that okay you're apologizing for all of these things but where's my apology where's my apology for all that i've done for you and all that i've done for you and olivia where's my apology 
So I think that's kind of where she was feeling like, well, damn, since you're on the apology tour, how about pull that apology tour bus up into, you know, this station and go ahead and, and, uh, and let me, you know, I mean, uh, let me know that you're, that you apologize for what you've done. Um, so that being said, she put this video out later in the day, Olivia comes on and Olivia is just kind of like being Olivia, you know, coming on in, with one, um, message and then just kind of go and segue on on into another um and she starts talking about nisi and the video and um it rolls into about five or six hours of back and forth one-on-ones um it was pretty heated for about two hours um then olivia got back on and she met with her audience, which was nice. I mean, she did a stream yard and met with a bunch of her audience and did some one-on-one -on -one chat with um, some of the subscribers, which was, again, that's, that's, what you, you know, it's what you're supposed to do. Um, that's the right thing to do. I mean, you've got a huge audience and they, they, some, they love her and they want to talk to her and that's cool. Nisi, same. Um, she doesn't have as large of an audience, but Nisi's got, you know, five figure audience. Right. Um, and she came on live after Olivia or as Olivia was kind of getting offline, um, and was on probably till about one 30 in the morning. So this went on for at least six hours, guys. It was, it was a minute. So, uh, people, some families miss dinner. Okay. Some, some people weren't cooking or they were cooking, and watching all of that. So it was it was a pretty interesting evening. Um, if you did not see it, I'm assuming everything is posted. I think everything is still posted on Nisi's channel. I don't know about Olivia's channel. I have not seen that this morning, but you know, sometimes she takes down lives. I don't know what she did or didn't. So um, go check it out. Um, there was some back and forth about Jasmine yesterday. Um, I was watching, I went to Blama's channel yesterday and I did see that she put something up about Jasmine and Chrissy like fooling around on uh, Facebook and that kind of like, it looked like a phony fight with Jasmine and I guess some guy she's been dating. So, you know, of course I had to just go ahead and mosey on over um, because this is Love Lies and Lace Fronts and, you know, um, I'm gonna bring you that tea. So if you did not see it over Blama's channel, um, you know, it is there. Um, so go check it out. She's got it posted, but I went over to Facebook to see what I could see just to kind of understand a little bit more. Cause I don't really know about Jasmine and this guy that she's dating. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I still find it a little hard to believe, um, about Jasmine dating anyone simply because she talks about Philip so much, but I know that there are men out there who don't mind, um, being in, I'm not going to say dating, um, being involved with a woman who is still hung up on someone else because they're not really interested in the long term. They're just trying to get what they can get. And if you want to talk about homie, the clown, um, you're welcome to do so because, um, they don't really care. Right. Um, but most men who care about having a future with a woman don't want to hear about your past, um, with another guy, especially if that guy is a bad dude, because at, at some point, of course, he's going to know you've been involved with other people. You've got a whole family. So every time he comes over to your house, he's going to know, I mean, it's, it's a constant reminder of your past relationship because you've got a whole family with the guy. So, um, you know, I think I made a reference in my last video about, well, if she's involved with someone, he must not be watching her channel. And the reason why I said that it's not that he must not be watching her channel because he should have some distaste for her channel. It's more so you talk about one guy all the time and to most self-respecting men, they're not going to want to be involved with somebody who is still stuck on their ex baby daddy. But that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about that, but whatever. Anyway. Um, so I headed on over to Facebook to see what the deal was with this guy. And I don't know, it was like some back and forth with, um, 
Chrissy, Jasmine, and some guy named JJ. Um, Blama did report about hashtag stepdaddy season. I don't know what these girls are up to, but it's very immature for women who are almost 30. Um, but you know, if that's how you roll and you guys are getting ready for hot girl summer, everybody's on their diets. I mean, that's the one other thing. So I'm going to just jump out of that topic because it was kind of boring. We don't really know what's happening. And if Jasmine's having a keyboard argument with her, you know, friend with benefits or her boo thing. Um, okay. Um, whatever but yeah we are seeing that everyone is like on a diet everyone is trying to get into their have their best life um this summer and why not yes we have all been in the house corona all of that has kept us in confinement um in the house with our kids homeschooling and mama does need some time out so yes that is the truth we all do need it um and yes, everybody should be working on their fitness and being your best and most healthiest self. So all of that I think is awesome. Um, we've all had kids. So I'm going to include myself in there. We've all had kids. We need to get our bodies back. We need to get ourselves back. So that is all good, positive stuff. So for that, I am saying y'all do your thing. I'm interested in seeing all of the results and continue to results because of course we all know that healthy living um weight loss is a journey it's not a tomorrow you'll be this and tomorrow you'll be that so back on that subject really quick olivia did mention that she is going for vertical sleeve gastrectomy um, also known as vsg um, vertical sleeve gastrectomy is not as radical as your gastric bypass um, it's when they cut your stomach up to 80 percent it doesn't mean that you're always going to be 80 percent it doesn't mean that they're going to get 80 percent they're going to cut up to 80 percent sometimes people get a 50 percent it just depends on the condition of your anatomy when they get inside of your um get inside of your your body basically um but typically they're doing scans they're doing anatomy studies what i can say is this if olivia if what olivia is saying is true and she's having her surgery in two weeks olivia has been in process at least for six months now some people a year depending on the type of insurance you have and the type of uh pre-ops that you have to have unless she's going to maybe like mexico dominican republic she's going out of the country it's possible that maybe she's gotten kind of a speed pass but if she's here in the united states and she's paying with traditional insurance like a blue cross blue shield um i don't know what other insurance uh united um all of these other medical insurances uh that are available um anthem all of these that um She's been in process. You have to go for a psych evaluation. You have to go for nutritional counseling. You have to meet with your doctor uh, once a month. Um, the PA uh, who is assigned to the doctor, they are monitoring your weight. From the minute that you come in, you cannot have gained any weight or they will not do your surgery typically. And it's not even so much that they won't do it. The insurance won't pay for it. So we don't know, is Olivia paying cash? Is she going through insurance? But um, back to Olivia, you know, good luck with your surgery. If you're watching this, I am happy that you made the decision. I think vertical sleeve gastrectomy is a great tool, but like you said, and like, you know, it is a tool you have to put in the work. You have to walk, you have to eat Olivia. I wish you the best results. I'm sure you're going to be successful no matter what, whatever that is. Um, Sometimes it takes up to two years to lose your Good weight. luck with it. I think you're going to do great. Um, you will lose weight and you're going to look amazing. Um, I hope that your post-op is easy for you because sometimes it's really hard for some people. Back to clothing hauls. We saw Chrissy this week do clothing haul. We saw Jasmine this week do clothing haul. We've seen everybody do hair videos. We've seen everybody do a music video. Guys, did you see Olivia for her butterfly video? Chrissy and her video with some very fun accessories. Um, yeah. Um, and then there was Jasmine with her video. So, I mean, 
gosh, guys, there's been a lot going on. There's been a lot going on. There's been a lot to see. I know people have been saying stuff like the moms haven't been posting. And yeah, I think there was a little bit of break going on. There was a little bit of, um, I'm taking a break. Uh, we know Chrissy's been booed up. Uh, we saw her videos and we saw, you know, uh, Bay mystery Bay kissing on her neck and all that stuff. And, um, okay. And I guess we'll just stay posted to get some more details on that. But guys, this was a quick, quick overview update, mom life, three moms update, mommy Yana. The one thing I did think of before I end this Ming, where are you? Did, did Ming just say, you know what? This is too much. I'm too blessed to be this stressed or I don't know if I like these subscribers. I don't know if I like this mix. I'm not sure. Uh, Ming, where are you? What are you doing? Ming, feel free to drop down in the comments. Let me know. Um, maybe I'll dip over there and check and see what's going on over in uh, Ming's world. Just to, just to dip in, make sure she's good. She's goody. But yeah, I think her husband's back home um when last we saw so i don't really know but i'm gonna find out for you guys i'm gonna do it for you and i will get back to you later on today but this is my really quick down and dirty did i get you caught up three moms update if i left anything out if you have any questions let me know um chrissy if you're watching this i did send you some mail that you were that came forwarded to me so i'm gonna talk to the youtube post office let them know People are asking about your pod. Jasmine also, um, I think I addressed it in my live, but also Jasmine, you have some mail over at my channel too. When you left that comment in my video, um, you have about like 20 replies of people who are waiting for you to get back to them. So if you could jump on over there too, I would greatly appreciate it. So guys, lots has gone on this week. Lots will continue to go on. Guys, we are getting ready to roll into summer. Monday is Memorial Day. So let's get this pop in. Put your questions down below. If you are not subscribed here, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified as soon as I go live. And as soon as I drop another video, take care. Bye, guys.